Hey there, Ramon Osu with you here, and if you want a faster tennis serve, then you're going to love this video because I'm going to show you a simple step-by-step -step process that's going to give you more MPHs on your serve. But before we get started, if you're looking for fun, straightforward videos that take your tennis game to the next level, then hit the subscribe button right now, hit that bell notifications so you get notified of future videos when I release them. Let's get started. All right, the first thing we got to realize is the serve is unique in that you are supplying all of the power in this situation, okay? You don't get to use your opponent's pace against him, although that's really fun to do. And basically, the power of the serve starts from the ground up. So we're going to push off the ground, we're going to rotate our hips, our arms are going to get thrown up into the ball, but that is not the best way to go about practicing adding more power to your serve. So if you look at it this way, you could have the best knee bend in the world, you might have a beautiful trophy position, but if your arm is frozen stiff when we go to uncoil, none of that potential power is gonna get transferred into the ball. So when we're working on hitting the fastest tennis serve possible for you, the first thing we gotta do is make sure that your throwing motion, your hitting motion, is nice and silky smooth. We're gonna use the trusty total serve here. This is a great tool. I'll link to it down in the description. You can also use a ball and a sock, although what's great about this is you get the uh, actual tennis grip here. You can practice with your continental grip and when you work this thing out, you'll actually have a really nice looking serve in the proper grip. So let's take this thing step by step. Now before we start, it's very important to realize that none of this will work if your arm is stiff as Iron Man's, okay? You gotta be nice and silky smooth. So step one is we wanna have a nice, easy throwing motion, okay? And the first thing we're gonna do is make sure we get set up in the right position, okay? Now what you're gonna notice is my tricep here is level to the ground. My elbow is going straight back to the back fence and my palm is down, okay? It's not flopping open like that. They call that the waiter serve. We want the, the palm rounded like this. And what I recommend you doing here is video yourself doing this so that you can compare and contrast with this video how you look and if the positions are correct because there's a really good chance that there's gonna be some funny stuff going on. We've got our position. What we wanna do is just get this thing moving, okay? So we start in our position here. We pretend like we just tossed the ball. So we got our tossing arm up and we're gonna throw up and over and we're gonna catch it with our opposite hand towards our opposite pocket, okay? So let me show you that from a different angle. We got our tossing arm up. We've got our position correct in the hitting hand. We throw up and not literally throw up. We throw the total serve up and then catch it on the opposite side. Now notice as I do this, my hand actually pronates, okay? The fancy word is pronate, and all that means is that the palm is gonna turn outward as you go. As you can see this from a couple of different angles, you pronate on every single serve if you're hitting flat, kick, or slice. This will happen automatically if your throwing motion is correct and we're nice and loose. Is I would practice this over and over and over again until this feels comfortable. Okay, moving right along to step two. Now here is where the rubber starts to meet the road. We're gonna work on the take back, okay? And how the racket actually swings backward up into that hitting position that we learned in position one. And there's a few ways to do this. There's more of a classical kind of pendulum-like motion where you can see the balls are laying, uh, laying on this 180 degree plane like this. That's one way to do it. Then there's also kind of an abbreviated motion where we go up um, on a shorter plane. And then we finally have kind of the Andy Roddick take back here, okay? That's more stylistic than technical. For the purposes of this video, I'm gonna demonstrate using the pendulum motion. So as you can see, I've got my arm nice and loose, and I'm just letting my shoulder move the way that it wants to move, okay? I'm not trying to force it into any position. I'm just keeping this nice 180 degree plane. Now notice as I'm doing this, my palm is staying down the whole way, okay? What I'm not doing is starting to turn it back here. I'm keeping my palm down the entire time. And that's really important. And as you can see here, the balls are on a straight line, just like this. They're gonna line up right as they're going to the camera and you should do this too. Now again, there's a good chance you're going to turn into Michelangelo from the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles and start doing your nunchucks here. Make sure that the path of the ball or the sock or whatever you're using um, is going nice and straight. All right, we're on to step three, chugging right along. And believe it or not, you already have all of the pieces that you need to really start getting this thing going. Step three is we're going to put one and two together. Okay, so we're going to start with our pendulum motion here. And then we're gonna go up into position one and just let the balls plunk us on the back. So we start with our pendulum motion and let it plunk us on the back. 
That kind of hurt. What we're really looking for is are we getting into position one correctly as we take the racket back or as we take the total serve back? That's the important thing. So as we take the, the balls back, do we get into position one? Looks like I did it, okay? And you're gonna find all kinds of different stuff. You know, your wrist might be flopping open like that. You might have your elbow too low. You might have your elbow too high. Remember, you want our tricep right on the level as parallel to the ground here. Okay, now a bonus tip, this is, we'll call this 3B, okay? So we know we're gonna have to toss a ball eventually. So now what I want you to do is practice the motion with your tossing arm, okay? So it'll look like this. We got our pendulum going. We take our toss and we let the balls hit us right on the back, okay? We do that again. Here's it from a different angle. We toss and we let the ball just plunk us right on the back. Hey, you're on a roll. So practice that. You're probably gonna need to do that for a little while. And once you have it, we'll go to step four. And the final step in this whole process is to actually put everything together, okay? We're actually gonna hit a total serve now, hence the name of the total serve. All right, and the way this happens is we're gonna take our pendulum swing back we're gonna find position one, and right as we're getting into position one, we're gonna throw our hip forward and let that throw happen, okay? So it'll look something like this. Racket goes back, and then we catch it. Okay, here it is from a different angle. Here's our pendulum swing, and then we catch it on the opposite side just like that. Okay, I don't wanna get too complicated in this video, but basically the hips are gonna be what help you out here. So as you're taking your toss, as you're taking the, the total serve back, what you're gonna do is you're gonna rotate your hips into the court, and then as you're going to throw, you're gonna to rotate towards your target, okay? So watch my hips here as I do this. I toss, hips go in. As I release, hip goes out, okay? And I'm gonna show you that in slow motion here so you can really see it from a different angle. Now just a quick word about the coordination with the left hand. Remember, as we take our take back, our tossing arm comes up, and as we start to throw, the tossing arm is gonna tuck in, get out of the way for the right hand to come up and through. And the last tip is make sure that as you go to your toss, your head is going up like you're going to toss the ball. And as you swing through, that your head is still pointing up towards the sky. If you're using the total serve, this rope should be kind of tight the whole time it should be taut. If it goes loose, that means you have a hitch. That means you probably didn't fire the hip at the right time. Bonus step here is let's turn this into a continuous exercise and really make this flow for you, okay? So the way we're gonna do that is we're gonna let the finish of the swing go right into the backswing of the next one, okay? I'll, let me show you. So we're gonna go up and through, up and through. So it's kind of like a figure eight shape. And this feels really good. This is a great way to warm up your serve before you play and you wanna just get that figure eight shape going. Boy, it feels good, I'm ready to play a match already. And with that, I'd like to thank you for watching this video. I had a great time making it for you. If you found it helpful, click the like button down below. Let me know in the comments if you'd like to see more videos about developing a faster serve. Also, the link to the total serve and all of my favorite tools are down below in the description. And if you'd like to hit a forehand like Roger Federer, I'm gonna leave a video up here that you can get absolutely for free. Just click over to my website uh, you can grab it right there. Also, my subscribe button is probably down here if I got this right. Click that button if you want to subscribe so you get notified of future videos. And don't forget to share this with a friend who you know needs this, all right? See you in the next video.